Understanding what is cloud computing, a very upcoming field these days and it talks about the delivery of computing services. Now what kind of delivery of computing services? This is again a very interesting question. So it could be in the form of servers, database, networking, software, analytics, storage or the basic intelligence which is required by the computing devices all of these are part of the computing services so computing the cloud computing focuses on the delivery of these computing services through a common server or which is called as a cloud and the interactions become very very valuable now the most important benefit that we can see for the cloud computing it's it's global it can be uh, accessed any where in the world and there are five important characteristics for cloud computing the first characteristic that we focus on is on demand self service that means whenever i require i get the service it is fully managed by the provider and the user is able to use the resource whenever and wherever required so if i am using it at 12 midnight in india that's totally fine if i am using it at 12 midnight in the united states it should be fine also whatever place i am across the globe it's totally fine and this is the on demand self service the next is broad network access as we said it includes hosts of internet so anywhere with any device be it mobile be it work stations be it pcs it should work perfectly well the next is resource pooling now resource pooling is a concept where we are trying to make available the service provider and the customers at one platform and the resources are being logically distributed in order to help the customers and the providers as well the next is rapid elasticity rapid elasticity implies that it will have exactly the capacity it needs at any given point of time so let's say i need uh today certain bandwidth but tomorrow my load is less and i require lesser bandwidth this could be adjusted and this is what is meant by elasticity so it's rap it has rapid elasticity and finally a measured set of services that it would provide so the bills are monitored transparent and very very clearly provided the next important concept that we understand is why it is so good as we said it is global it can be used anywhere across the globe it's cost efficient if you are taking the uh, capital expense from one place to another it takes a huge toll but it eliminates all those expenses speed is definitely one of the most important uh, benefits we would say because if i arrange a conference let's say in next month there is a time frame but the same conference if i want to arrange in next two days it's pro probably possible through cloud computing rather than a physical uh, webinar that is there the next is productivity higher productivity is seen because of better hardwares better softwares and better uh, device management with better performance and more reliable so it's 24/7 reliable if one of the servers gets down you have a uh, backup on the other server servers and we try to keep the cloud computing systems up 24 hours in most of the cases the next is security it definitely provides a huge tool for security strengthening the individual security and the apps and the infrastructure for the same so those are certain benefits now definitely when we are focusing on cloud computing there could be various ways under which this cloud computing could be done it could be public private or hybrid let's understand these one by one when I say public it is a common cloud which is being shared by a lot of people private is dedicated to one institution or organization and hybrid follows a dual model where technology is brought together by the public and the private cloud in one go and the business becomes much more flexible much more infrastructure uh, infrastructure is used uh, on the public and the private cloud space so let's understand the benefits and the drawbacks of each of these clouds so first let's talk about the public cloud now public cloud as we said is cost effective since many of the people are using it on the same go 
Also, this is highly reliable, easy to manage and since it's being used by a lot of people, uh, there are no geographical restrictions, there are no foundations and uh, the scalability is very good. However, if we focus on the negative aspects of this public cloud, the most important negative aspect is security privacy so sensitive data it should not be leaked and therefore public cloud sometimes becomes a challenge if there is a general discussion that's uh, okay but if there are certain uh, ips or intellectual properties those are to be maintained definitely private cloud becomes a better option so private cloud the benefit is better security as we said more control over the server since it's only meant for a single business and it can be customized and redrafted according to your requirements according to your needs however there are drawbacks drawback is since you are maintaining a personal space you require a huge it manpower and if sometimes you are in a remote location far away the access might be poor in contrast to public because the public cloud is made for everyone even for the remotest corners and therefore public cloud becomes easier in contrast to the private cloud and finally we talk about the uh, mixed model or the hybrid model so better security better cost efficiency and more flexibility but there could be certain conflicts at the level of communication between the private and the public cloud what data to fetch how to fetch and what are the uh, intricacies that the private and the public should know so there is where there are certain drawbacks that can be seen now let's focus on certain examples of each of these cloud if we talk about public cloud definitely we know uh, google suite is one such example we have microsoft azure ibm cloud as some of the examples for public cloud now all these are the workspaces that we commonly have heard of or we commonly use in our day-to-day -day life the next is private Private is where the data is secure. So VMware, OpenStack are some of the good examples of private cloud. And finally, the hybrid model, AWS, that is Amazon Web Services, or the Microsoft Azure are some of the uh, examples. The Azure st stack is one of the examples uh, where hybrid model has been used. Now, let's focus on the type of the services given by cloud. So there are four basic services that are given. First is infrastructure as a service. The next is platform software and functions. Under infrastructure, we focus on the servers, virtual machines. So let's say I want to start my own uh, startup and I require certain ser servers. So infrastructure would be given to me as a service. And this is either in the form of servers, virtual machines, storage, uh, storage, backup, networking access, platform where software applications are given. For example, Google Drive is one such example. Then we have software as a service. Softwares are uh, uh, the softwares which could be used on the platform. So these could be uh, basically focusing on certain uh, web browsers or certain devices on which they would work and finally function so azure function we have aws lambda as some of the good examples for function as service and these are triggered by certain events which could be uh, virtual servers uh, application runtime let's talk about the examples of each of those so infrastructure as a service we as we said we have google drive google cloud azure ibm aws amazon web services are example of infrastructure when it comes to platform we have openshift force pivotal and heroku uh, softwares are google suite office 365 where you have the various office application salesforce and function uh, as a service aws lambda azure functions cloud functions so those are good examples for the types of cloud service now uh, that was about a very basic introduction on cloud computing what are the benefits what are the types of cloud the public private and the hybrid cloud and the various cloud services we would be covering many more interesting upcoming topics in the near future so stay tuned for updates and have a wonderful day ahead